for a new video. This time we're gonna talk about baseballing, and I've thought about doing this for a long time, but it actually got um, took a lot of time to do these videos, and um, it, I just thought that it would really fall in your guys' taste. And <coughs> sorry, <coughs> but um, I'm doing one now. And as you see up on the screen on your screen right now, you will have the opportunity to click on some of all these windows here, and it kind of tells you what uh, that what video is for, and uh, that was or it's going to be reverse nuking or it's going to be straight shoot. Uh, that's up to you what you wanna wanna look at and what you wanna be be better at. But uh, I suggest watching the entire video because most of it is something you probably didn't know. Uh, but all in all, watch everything because that is kind of that is kind of helpful in a lot of ways, and I really hope that you guys will uh, watch everything. So remember to subscribe and like my videos and comment down below. But uh, here comes the video, and if you haven't clicked on anything, it is simply just going to start from the top. But uh, my name is Xtar, and uh, I'm out. Roof cannon is not really a subject here. Roof cannons is kind of patched on every single server, 99% percent of all servers and I don't really need to make any protection for this because this is this is so similar as it can get. You see up right here in your corner, right here if you can see my mouse, up here you have the X, Y and Z corners. The Y tells you how high you are, so if I do this you will see that it will change up and it will change down now. So what you need to do is that you may need to make sure that your roof is at 255, so when you stand on top of your roof it is at 255. And then you can water it. If you don't, and it the uh, walls, or oh, sorry, the base is at 254, then you will get AC 130, and that wouldn't really be good. Um, some people do slaps right here, and that is also a mistake. You don't do slap. You don't do a slap. Um, you don't do a slap roof because it is there is absolutely no point in it. And if they're good enough, they crack this. And that would probably be something like this, but then you will AC 130 into this hole, and you will get doomed just once again. So we don't want that either. So just make the roof at 255. Have warroid, or nobody can roof cannon you. I promise you that. Auto cannons is an issue on a lot of servers, and the issue is that it doesn't really take a long time to raid you, and there is not really any reliable defense against auto shooters. Auto cannons because it is a cannon itself. It just simply auto. It, somebody made it an auto. And uh, what do you do when you face them? What is your choices that you can do on your base to kind of prevent this? And as you see here, I have my base set up here. I, this is all my wall. This is all I have to, to protect myself against. This is 101 wall. So what do I do here? Because if I leave this in, it's not going to take them long to raid my walls. And I can't really have that, so I need to come up with something that force them to kind of do something to the cannon, so it will take longer time. I'm not talking about sand wall because uh, a 240 auto doesn't really care about a sand wall. That is kind of one shot, and the sand wall is down, so that's not really going to help us here. But um, what do we do? Because we don't really want us to get raided, and uh, the base over here. Let me just quickly here. This is the base. We don't want this weight this to be weighted because I have a lot of good stuff in here. So let's just do this. I know this is straight walls by the way. <coughs> so what you wanna do is that you wanna mix up a lot of your defenses. You wanna mix up so do you force them to change the guider. If you force them to change the guider you will not be able to simply just put the cannon on auto and just let it fire away. You simply don't allow them to simply just schematic a cannon that can auto and cannon to your walls. That is kinda the point of this. So how do you do this? There is a different ways. There is a lot of ways. There is a lot of people, there is a lot of YouTube videos about this. There is a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff about this. And what I'm doing now is kind of the grill wall, and the grill wall is kind of what protects you against uh, protect you against this as well. Uh, but then grill, a grill wall forces them to change the guider to a slap, and that is kind of what you want. You want them to change to a slap, and uh, that is kind of 
that is kind of it. If you want to keep change the guide, you have to keep change it. You have to make them force to to every single ten minutes or five minutes or three minutes of fucking um, a cannoning. You'd have to change the guide because they face this, and it doesn't have to be this. It could be a pancake wall. It could be a filter wall. It could be as a the filter wall that you see. It could be a four to five degrees wall. It could be a trapdoor filter. It could be just about anything besides straight walls. And if you do this. You will actually have a bigger chance of for, of not being raided by an auto cannon because it is simply not it is simply not reliable to use an auto cannon on a base that have uh, filters and stuff like that because you will have to change your guide all the time and if you change your guide all the time then you will have a bigger chance of fucking up and it will take an even longer time and you can't really put it on a clock the auto has to be on a clock to actually be an auto wall so you can just fire I know it's it is it's not really that but you know. If people put an auto and they face a filter, they're not gonna get to that filter if, uh, unless they change the guidance. So if some of them don't really know anything about cannoning or they do something wrong, then they will fuck up. And if they fuck up and the cannon blows up, you win. If you just get more than one minute, if, they, if that filter holds more than just one minute, you will actually be... that, that wall will actually be a success. So that is kind of what we want to do here. We want to make sure that they spend a lot of time in our filters. We want to make sure they take a lot of time on our pancakes or our trapdoors. Because that is kind of what is the key here to not being raided by fucking scrubs using an auto cannon. Uh, that is kind of it. There is not really much to this. Oh, my dog is having a, a good time right now. He just got a, got, got a new toy, so he's, he's all hyped. But this right here is the <coughs> is the is the folder, and there's two blocks. There's two blocks in between. So next folder will go right here. And um, what you do is that you simply water everything. Um, let's yeah, you simply just water everything. So let's just quickly let me show you here. So when you want to water these filters here, you simply water, you water it like this, like of course all the way up, and then the water's gonna fall down. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna do right here, you're gonna take dirt or something quick to break. And as you see, while well, you go like this, that makes that. And then you simply go on top of the other pillar here, and you just go around with a shovel and do this, and then it will be all water going. So now that we talked about that, well, let's go over to trapdoor filters because trapdoor filters is a fucking pain to do, to fucking wait. I I I can't describe this enough. This is a this is a, this is oh yeah, this is good defense. I must I must say this is a good defense. I know a lot of people who don't know how to do this, and um, this is kind of how you do those. You kind of do it like this. It is a little bit tricky, and it does cost a lot of shit but this these here are really 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 good and i really just strongly suggest you have these inside some of all your 216 mods or how many mods you have <laughs> but if you want to do this then you will of course have to do it and you of course have to water it properly as well um but let's not make sure that we do there you go let's just do this this is fine there you go, and um, that is just about it. Uh, this is the trapdoor filters. It works just like the filters, just a little bit more annoying. And uh, that is just about it. Next up, we can do what I call a, a pancake. A pancake is kind of no, a pancake is kind of it's kind of a little bit stupid uh, because you can actually get through with an auto. It is pox actually possible to get through with an auto. So I'm not gonna go over that one because I don't really want you guys to build it just just yet because it is kind of not reliable for auto cannons here. And this is kind of our subject for and that is auto cannons here. So let's not go over that. Um, but we can actually see here um, there's something called honeybee pillars. And honeybee pillars allows you to break up the hammer TNT and the slap bust. So you won't be able to slap bust. So of course your your water's gonna need need slap bust. But um, how you do that is kind of easy. So Two blocks up, skip one, and if you do that all the way, or as long as you want it, then you go on top of here. And uh, normally I use torch uh, whenever I build it, not in creative, because you can simply just do this. Okay, that was. Uh, there you go. 
And then if you do this all the way up, or you can use, you can even use water, but you don't really, really need to water in between this. It's not really something you're gonna need to do. Uh, there you go. And if you're not in fly, this is how you do it. And this is also how you uh, make it with schematic. You put a torch right there. Or a string or something like that. That doesn't affect uh, TNT or sand. Um, and that is just about it. Um, and of course you're going to need two of these walls. You're going to need one here and you're going to need one behind it as well. But it has to be one step different. So that's going to be something like this. And if you do this, then you are forcing them to change guider. And I kind of like these walls here due to being very, very small. It doesn't really take up a lot of space. But nobody says this has to go all the way. Like, nobody says that this is an entire wall. Normally, auto cannons is like 240s. And you can only, you can actually just make these on top of your walls. So it doesn't really have to be all the way up. So if this, let me see, if this is 240, Let's just say this. This is this is 255. From 255 and down to 220 or something. You can you can make these, or you can make filters, or you can make trap bars filters, and then the rest is just going to be walls, and that will actually protect you against something as well. But um, this is kind of how you protect yourself against auto cannons. That's not really a protection. That's not no. There is no bodyguard set saying no to uh, to auto cannons or something like that. They, it is simply just force them to change the guide all the time and that will take even longer time and let's just hope to find them and that is just about it 255 cannons is something that most already know how to patch and let's just say that this is our walls these are made all the way up to 255 or in this case you made them up to 254 and that allows one block to be placed and that also allows a TNT and as well as TNT you heard it sand and sand and TNT doesn't go well together if they can go over your walls. <laughs> but uh, easy way, like I don't really know why I want to talk about this. I'm really just gonna go over everything here. And to to patch about that, you simply have to melt your walls up to 255, and you'll have to water them. And and that's just about it. Bottom defense or reverse scattering or revert or reverse nuke or reverse uh, <coughs> hybrid is kind of one thing in together. And the best way to do to protect yourself against that is this. And that's it. This is simply the only thing you're gonna need to be able to protect yourself against this kind of because people are gonna need backboard and uh, backboard is created by having something blocks right here um, this could be like something you made uh, when, you were when you were building base or something like that and people could stack on top of that and then they will uh, reverse nuke or reverse hybrid or whatever they're gonna do but if this is not here <coughs> what do they do so I am um, I'm counting from uh, from right here and uh, right here is the world border. Of course, there's going to be a world border because this is, uh, this is a border base. So this is the world border. And right now, there's no way that I will be able to stack on the world border and then reverse up. So that is a that is a close that is closed. Uh, right now, then we will be something around here. This is from the other side. And how can we change this? Fuck off. How can we do this? So now we have actually the opportunity to go ahead and go for the base. Um, because now we can actually single stack here and create a backboard. But uh, you have to backboard quite a lot. Because if you want to get into the middle of the base, you have to single stack a lot of sand. And it, it all depends on how long you have this square out. But you will have to stack a lot of sand. And as we talked about later, you're gonna have those water layers and it's gonna kinda hard to hybrid all the way up there. So you will have to go further. There you go. That, around here should probably do it. But then you have water layers in between as well, so it's kinda just worth going for the middle. But it is definitely possible to reverse hybrid or reverse nuke or whatever you're gonna do down here. You can uh, reverse nuke up here and have a sand stack right here. And then nuke it down with a reverse nuker, and it will take down the entire 
base here, but how do you protect against this? How? What is the best way to protect yourself against this? Because as you see, it is it's not nice to have um, have a backboard down at all. So yeah, a backboard down there whenever you wake up. Um, not many do it though, but it it is definitely something. Uh, so what do you do to prevent it? You do simply this. You have to extend your water layers out to at least three reps. Uh, and if you do that. Uh, 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 sorry about that. And if you do that, you will kind of force them to reverse hybrid. Um, but if you do keep doing this, and you don't need them on the layers, you need like four layers, that's it. And all you need is these four layers here, or five layers, it doesn't really matter. But it's very important that you prevent any uh, prevent people to create a back stack on you. So. Instead of having this only out here, you have to go even further out. So that means that you have to. Oh, let me see there. That means that you have to go even further out with whatever you're doing, uh, mining down under your base. So that means that you have to stack this all the way out like this, and as well as as well as this one. What do you let me just see? Put sure this right here. No. As well as this side. No, this side doesn't really ever. This doesn't really need to be mined out because you, you can't make a cannon on the other side of the world border. So you don't really need it, but it looks better. It definitely looks better, and this all always protects from something else as well. Um, there you go, and there you go. And now that you have done that, you will have to single stack. Wait a second, all the way out here. So now you start single stacking. That is gonna take a lot of shots, guys. That is gonna take more than if you needed to straight shoot. So if you have to keep this up all the time, and remember, it doesn't really go this fast. So you will have to stack a lot of sand to get all the way over there. Um, I have never done it, and I will never ever sit down at a cannon and sit here and stack single sands all the way out two, four, five shots. I'm not gonna do that. Nobody wanna do that. That is completely ridiculous. It's gonna cost way too much TNT. And then uh, nobody's gonna do it. So that that is kind of how to protect you against uh, the reverse hybrid or reverse nuke or stuff like that. Keep the just keep having your water layers like this, and you can actually have, if you want, you can actually have uh, these slabs right here, all the way to. Uh, so these slabs right here, not the entire thing, but right here where there is trench, that you can have slabs, uh, and that will kind of help you out a little bit. But uh, I think that is just about it for a reverse, uh, reverse at least. So. Uh, yeah, let's talk a little bit about left shooters. Uh, left shooters is is fairly not a new thing, but it's, it's it is still a very very used thing that people uh, don't protect against because people don't really feel like they need to protect against it. And why they don't do that, I um, I don't know. Uh, but it is definitely something that is, is that is bad. But um, left shooting is if you go from here, you can into this right here. Then you reverse scatter up. You create a backboard right here that is now watered. Then you left shoot inside the base, and then you stand inside the base and you dance because they didn't protect themselves properly. So, how do you prevent this? Whoop, there you go. You can do it on a many many ways. Normally, um, you can do pillars. Just simply do it like this. And all the way, this goes all the way up. But there's an issue with doing this because how how are you how are you um, gonna protect yourself if something is, is inside the base? Or if you have like a small mistake like this, you will able you will be able to sand stack on top of that as well. So that I would highly say that you're gonna have a few wraps, not too many, but there's just a few wraps. Um, so that is gonna be something like this. This is this is fine. I, I guess we can rely on them. And then you simply just add the pillars. But I even suggest you to have more webs. But I'm gonna talk about that not in this section. I'm gonna talk about it in a later section here why you shouldn't have more than this. But uh, this is kind of how you protect yourself from left shooters. Simply do pillars and a little bit of wraps. Then you should be just fine. Let's talk about mid -ass. Mid -ass is a big issue. Mid -ass is something that have kind of ruined the Minecraft as we know it or faction as we know it because it simply just allows you to stack in between walls and this is the setup for a normal setup before the, the auto was. You had a few wraps, you had a few pillars and that is just about it. 
uh, left shoot was not really a, a thing at that moment. Uh, people know how knew how to do it, but it was not really something you were you were good at. Um, but let's just see here, because what do you do now? Because right now you have the mid stackers as well, and we don't really want to have something to do with that. So mid stackers is kind of what goes here, flies in here, stacks in between your walls, right there, and then you have a, a, a left shooter that shoots in here and then shoots inside the base. Um, to stop that, you need at least 30 reps, or more than that. I would always say 50 is the max you should have, or you can do only reps. Um, but 50 reps at least, so let's just say that this right here is 50 reps, because otherwise it will take me the entire day. This is 50 reps, then you do extended walls, and you have to extend out to your up to your wrap here, so that means that every single wall you're gonna have is gonna be extended out like this. Um, that is that is some big, big, big walls, but that is what you need to do. Uh, but let's just quickly do this right here. Now that you've done that, you're gonna have an issue with mid stackers as well because you can just stack in between here and then shoot 50 chunks. Oh, sorry, yeah, 50 wraps. Um, so. What you're gonna need is that you're gonna, of course, need your pillars here. That is normal for left shooters and stuff like that. So let's just do those. And I don't know how many straight walls you're gonna have. Like, you can have like 30, 40, 50 each, just that you have pillars for them. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make yourself wraps once again. So this goes all the way around. You already made wraps and already made straight walls and already made pillars. And this is kind of what protects you, like the final defense against uh, mid, -ass, mid ass stackers. And that's kind of how you do that. So yeah, that is just uh, about it. So we have to talk a little bit about reverse scattering. And uh, reverse scattering is uh, mainly used whenever you get into the base. So that means that you get into the walls and you get inside the base. Uh, and whenever you're inside the base, you find yourself in some rooms. And hello, people. Oh god, I didn't do that. There you go. Um, that is where your kind of is inside a room here. And if you want to go up. Uh, either way, if you have chest here that is water protected, uh, let's just just to say that this right here is water protected chests. You are gonna have to. Um, there you go. Uh, you can actually reverse scatter up on these and go straight in, in here. Uh, but the safest way will probably be well, It all depends if you. As, as this is a wide subject, so. Um, Let's go. Let's go around this, this best different stuff here. So right now there is a lot of these layers here, and simply there is no water in between, and there is no water in between this one, and there is no water in between this or this or this, but this one here has a water, and there is two ways of watering, um, and this is one way to protect yourself against uh, scattering. By the way, but we will come to that. There is two ways of watering your shit, and. Um, Let's just take one here and do this because this right here is also a protection if you do this. This is also and this is going to be water in here. Uh, but this is this is this is shit shit This is also protecting against um against reverse scattering, but not as much because if you do go down here again now. Go there you go. Let's go down here again. All right, so, all right, so if you want to protect yourself against reverse scattering, and, and and that is when people reverse scatter off something here, um, people scatter off this and they go up. Let's see how far we get. Of course, we have to go past all the these layers where we doesn't have anything at all, and uh, we're kind of stuck right here because this is where the water layer is. Um, so what do you do if people actually have these? These right here, water layers in between their rooms, what do you do? Well, there is a way, instead of going through stuff right here, you simply go outside the base, so you make a big, 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 big hole here, and then you simply go where there is walls, there's gonna be walls right here. Uh, so there's gonna be walls right here, and that is, that is of course gonna be watered as well. And what you do is that you uh, that you stack on top of this without scatter first, 
And after you've done that, then you take everything out besides the power and the wet sand, and then you just stack one. Now that you've done that, you have an op the opportunity to scatter uh, the side of the wall all the way up. So how, let's see how far we get up here. And just take it, make attention. We can skip. We can skip this one, this waterway here because the water is not all the way out. But it's gonna stop us right here. This is why it stops us, because these water layers is all the way out. And what I mean by that is that you go out to the entire buffer, or uh, sorry, the entire base, and that is kind of what makes it the most protected. So if you meet one of these, you can't really skip it. There's no way to skip it. Uh, so if not, if they have these all the way down here, though, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut it in to just to reverse scatter. Uh, I, w I wouldn't do that. But if you don't have if they don't have any water layers, then they just doom themselves, basically, and that is their mistake. But this is the proper way to protect yourself against reverse scattering. You can also use this down here as well, but it, I do not recommend it since people can just scatter up to the to the the wall base instead. But it is actually, it could be used to have one of these here, and then have one of these, and then have one of those up there, down here again. That way it would only go in between those rooms here. Uh, but that would just be a waste of time, it wouldn't really make any sense why you would do that. But um, I think that is just about reverse scattering. Uh, yeah, that's just about it. Alright, so we have to talk a little bit about using smaller cannons to cannon your base and that is possible because you don't have trench. So if this grass here was like 60, and you have to you have to use like a 100, you have to aim for something at uh, Y level 100. You might have some places down there or something like that. That means that you only need a 40 stacker because you don't. You only need to stack 40 sand right here because you kind of didn't trench it, and that is that is kind of why you need to trench all your walls. You need to trench every single wall you have, and you have to slap every single wall you have because if they use a 40 stacker where you have trenches do you, do you kind of force to uh do you kind of force to either crack it or do you have force to put more hammer in and you don't really want to do that um so always trench your base uh, always trench some of your walls if you don't want to trench all of them at least trench some of them because if you do that then you, you have to use more tnt and a 40 stack of slap boss won't be able to reach down to bedrock. They will have to use if they if they're aiming at Y 100, of course. They are forced to use at least a 100 uh, TNT hammer down to make the slap boss reach down there. And that is kind of what you want to do here. You want to trench every single wall or every third wall or something like that, just to make sure that nobody uses like 40 stack to rate you, because nobody really wants that. So that is kind of how you do that. And uh, I really hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video because this is kind of over now. There's not really much more to talk about. But uh, remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and comment down below if you have any questions. My name is Dexter, and I am out.